Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn about AWS Lambda function scaling. So the first time you, you invoke your function, AWS Lambda will create an instance of the function and run its handler method to process the event. When the function returns a response, it stays active and waits to process additional events. Now, if you invoke your function again while the first event is being processed, Lambda initializes another instance and the function processes the two events concurrently. So guys, when you go to functions and select a function, then you invoke it. This is what happens. Uh, as more events come in, Lambda routes them to available instances and creates new instances as much as needed. When the number of requests decreases, Lambda will stop unused instances to free up scaling capacity for other functions. Now your function's concurrency is the number of instances that serve requests at a given time. For an initial burst of traffic, your function's cumulative concurrency in a region can reach an initial level of between 500 and 3000, which varies per region. So guys, uh, if you'd like to see how your function scales, you go ahead and click on the function. From the fun configuration place, you're going to see a list of the available settings for this function. You've got the designer, you've got the function code, the environment variables, the tags, the basic settings, the AWS X-Ray, VPC file system, concurrency as we've previously talked about, then asynchronous infogation, database proxies. So to check out your dashboards, which is the scaling of your function, you go to monitoring. And here you will find the available ways to keep track of your function and the scaling of maximum concurrency and additional requests, which will fail with a throttling error. So guys, check them out.